Hello. Oh, okay, it can't hear me. I don't even tell you like, what they are. Okay. Let's go do that. You there! What are you doing? If you wish to have words, come closer. I have not had the win all day. I must turn this around. It's Eivor. Open the door. Come in, but keep your voice down. We will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight back. The wasp! Two days ago, we rid this land of Kjotve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there Ooh. make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home, but the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. If you object, I understand. Let your father keep Kjotve's riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. 
and tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed, and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. I've got so much more to explore in this place, though, so like... I don't want to go to England yet, unless it gives me a choice. Go down there. Thank you. I presume this is where I'll get a choice. If so, I'm going to do a bit of exploring. It looks like I'm going to get a choice. Avon, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. The act of leaving so beloved a home. There is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? No, not yet. I have a few things to settle first. Right, so now we know when we're ready, that's the mission. So now, I want to do a bit of exploring. Like, there's... It looks like there's all this that I've not explored. Like, you know, there's... There's plenty to do. So why not do it, rather than just abandon everything? It's like, I can still synchronise places, that's quite cool. So we'll go there first, so we'll see what's, what's going on there. Oh, wrong button. Soon, guide me. Still... I wonder if I could climb. If I get. Oh no. I'll have to follow some sort of route path or. Actually, I don't know. Like, do I set sail there on foot? Because that took me all the way around there. It looked like I've been there. This looks like somewhere I'd have to go on foot, so if I get as far up as I can. I find it flattering. You think one will marry you when... <laughs> Good idea to not just like, you know, run off. Oh. Oh, okay, we can go out this way. It's not very clear the map about roads, unless there's a way you can like highlight roads. That'd be nice. This game is so pretty. Be the one to find it. Just you wait and see. It must be around here somewhere. I think there are some spots you missed. What are these men hunting for? My comb. Whoever finds it wins an evening of my company. Care to join them? Um, not really. Wait and see.
This guy can hold his breath. I think this is yours. Halt in your search. A winner and my comb have been found. Now, the price for finding my comb is some of my time. A walk in nature may be more if that is where our conversation takes us. I see. Lead on. You are different than the kind my flight so fancy attract. Burdened, decorated, and delicate. Delicate. The others, they are like clubs. Blunt and ungainly. You are nimble. Like a knife. Are you so in need of suitors that any passing woodsman or viking I will do? I was married once. My Alfie died five winters back. Ours was a perfect marriage. I do not need another. But am I to go the rest of my days without love or attention? I think not. And the comb? Could be a comb, could be a brooch, or an arm ring. So long as it's lost, and to be found by a helping hand. Any good tales come of this? Once I thought the same man had stumbled across me three times. Gave me a fright. Turned out to be triplets. If this comb is worth nothing to you, what shall I do with it? You could keep it. Comb your hair, or I could comb it if you like. Comb my hair? Is that why those men scramble over each other? I could do more than comb your hair. Jesus Christ. Find all your nuts and snags and tame them, if you'd like. Yeah? My shoulders are tense, and my hair is a tangle. I could use a softer touch for these kinks. Aye. Aye, aye. Let's go, let's go. Let's see where this goes. Mmm, delicate touch. Is that it? Indelicate voice. This was fun, Avar. Hold on to the coal, as a keepsake. Thank Jesus you, Beeb. You tamed some knots I haven't been able to reach myself. Really? Suck it. Now I'm confused, so it's clearly below me. The how the hell? Okay, didn't mean to press that. How the hell are you? 
to get down there. There are none living here. Not now. But I have a better proposition than a rousing hunt. If you are a true Drenger, a warrior with arm, they're running like sunlight in your veins, then you may help me fulfill my destiny. You're a long way from any warm hearth, warrior. Is this where you call home? My name is Eric Loyalskull. The great King Ragnar Lothbrok named me such. When we fought tearing up the fields of England, we built families, overthrew kingdoms, sailed mountains, fought for whole seasons. Yeah, it's cool. Now, now he is gone. All of Norway laments the passing of King Ragnar. I cannot imagine the sorrow his warriors now feel. We are but six who remain, his most loyal Drengir. Yet without his guiding light, his strength and vision. We are lost. It was in this cavern that I knew my life was tied to Ragnar's. We were young, hunting a bear, when we chanced upon this spot. He killed it with nothing but a knife. Leapt on its back, held tight, writhing like a fly on a dragon, he stayed put. And it was done. Peace. Together we celebrated the kill. As if we had felled the beast together. That is when I knew I would live and die for this man. I did not die beside my lord in Ali's pit of snakes. But I can make amends. Fight me, warrior. Send me to meet him in Odin's hall. Okay. It is with great honor I will fight a true Dringer. When you're ready. Very well. For Ragnar Lothbrok, the true king of Norway. Whoa, 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 do not fire him. <laughs> right, well clearly we cannot go in there until we are ready. Like, Jesus Christ. Even when you're running away, he's throwing axes like it's pepperonis. Donkey. 
gear, but whoop. Right, let's do a synchronization, because when you synchronize, it tells you everything on the map that's available to do. <laughs> Berries! I think I'll synchronize and then might go to England. There's obviously going to be a way to come back here. I don't know. We'll see. So, I am enjoying this. <laughs> Fast travel there. Suggested power two hundred and eighty. What's my power? Fifteen. <laughs> Maybe we should go to England. Oh, we're obviously coming back. There's no way I could get two hundred eighty the stage on that, like, are you mad? Like, yeah, there's little missions here and there, but let, let, let's, let's go to England. Let's go enjoy ourselves. Now, usually when you synchronise, there's, like, somewhere you can jump off and, like, fall onto. Like, nearly in every single Assassin's Creed it has that. Uh, but my question is, where? Like, Cause <laughs> pretty sure if I jump off anywhere, I'm dead. You know what? Let's go. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Ooh, pretty. Now, if 
eventually there's going to be somewhere I'm going to have to jump off. Unless Horsey comes with me. Let's go, Horsey. You can do it. Come on. I believe in you. Come on. Don't be a pussy about it. Yeah. Come on. We'll, we'll, we'll climb this mountain together. You are my trusty steed. Go! Now that is shiny. Alright, horsey. Let's do it. Um, okay. He does not want to jump down that bit. Oh god. Okay, come on. Ah! Fuck. Shit. Fuck. No. Oh shit. No, no. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Ah! I'm not pressing anything. No! <laughs> I'm trying to grab. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, I'm seriously not pressing anything. I'm trying to go opposite now. Oh god, oh god. It's working now. You know what? I'm just going to sit here. You even here put the controller down. The controller is down. Oh, okay, now he's done. Okay, I'll take control. Oh, we're halfway there. Whoa. I wonder if I could slide while running. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 I don't like the way those soldiers watch me. I find it flattering. You think one will marry you and carry you off to the capital? Are you ready to set sail, Eivor? Yes. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm ready. Let us tank to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. There is not a prayer! Sigurd? What is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga in England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. Stirbjorn Jarl. Our men were killed as we patrolled nearby. And the word is, Eivor swung the axe. If the dead could speak, what would they say of their deaths, false kiss? What's the hell? They would tell you how they offered us insults, and how I slew them for it. As the dead cannot defend themselves, a bare guilt is wanted. Fifty weight of silver for each life. By law. Fifty weight? You will have it from me. A parent must pay the price of his children's folly. That was generous, Lord. Why England? Why throw away all you have for such an uncertain future? Here you could be a king's hero, Eivor. Your name known all across Harold's many kingdoms. No. I will not be captive to another man's gaudy design. My destiny is my own to weave. Eivor speaks for both of us, father. You gambled your honor and you lost your family. I hope the trade was worth it. Anger and sadness wrestle for my heart. But I am glad you'll leave this place alive. Ragnar established a settlement near the coast. We set sail for that. Ragi, sing a song to lift our hoop. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! 
An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your troubles. I spent a season in their kingdom of Mercia. A temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! Or Valhalla! What? That's just the start of the game. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Everything I just did is just the start of the game. Oh uh, no. Oh wait, what? Oh, we're coming out of the Animus. Or so I'm guessing, because I'm wearing modern clothing and I'm a woman. Oh. They've done it in this Assassin's Creed as well, where you can choose to go in and out of the Animus. I wonder where we're going to go. Are we going to be in a cave? In a building? On the run? Working for a business? Ooh. She's getting the migraines. Oh, I think we're on the run. Electrolytes. Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? You're a long way from home, Eivor. Oh, wow. Hmm. you're liking it. This is basically what Assassin's Creed is all about. They find the bodies or the ancestors and they use the DNA to enter an animus. It pulls their memories. So what I play in the game is uh, Eva's memories, basically. But I just want to see. Okay, so we can explore. Uh, okay, we can't explore. Shrek's house. Ooh, 
I'd rather walk into town than use this. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. Quality stuff here. Would love to play around, but I have bigger things on my mind. I'm not going anywhere. Not yet. Tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty, minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. Well, let's do a little bit of exploring in the house, see what's what. Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. You gonna put this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. Sean has been busy. Hello, Layla. Sean, what do you make of the grave out there? Well, it overturns a few hundred years of scholarship about the first Europeans to set foot in North America. Apart from that, it's just a bunch of muddy bones, isn't it? Can we talk about this thing on my neck for a second? Ah, the mood stabilizer. Yes. It's not harmful, is it? I mean, I feel good, but I want to make sure there's no side effects. There shouldn't be. It's only blocking outside signals, a passive effect. So the staff doesn't, you know, mess with you. Sean, what happened last year, I, I had no control over that. I, I tried to resist. I understand. And your old team, maybe they don't. But we've seen that sort of thing before. Still, if you want to work with us and get to the bottom of why the world is about to end for the second time in eight years, then you wear that thing until we say otherwise. William's orders. I know. It's not a problem. It's just a few more weeks, yeah? Just until we figure this out. You're right. I know you're right. I went through hell to bring you here. It had better be worth it. Let's have a look. <laughs> it sounds like my chair. <laughs> I don't have COVID, no. And I'm well isolated. <laughs> Is it COVID? Is that why you're being cagey? Something else cool. As if they're putting COVID in here. Sleep. 
might be interested in this. Conversations that Dex Desmond. and I had with Desmond back in 2012. Um, Desmond. December, I think. Just uh, candid talks, that's all. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Um, Desmond is the guy you used to play in the old Assassin Creed to act, enter the Animus. I just want to listen to this. Layla, thought you might be interested in this. Conversations that Bex and I had with Desmond back in 2012. Um, December, I think. Just, uh, candid talks, that's all. We didn't square any circles or write any beat poetry. But he did have some interesting insights into his time in the Animus and what it means to be an assassin. Anyway, have a listen. You might find you and he had similar experiences. So, uh, well, let me know what you think. Unless it's to tell me I sound like a total prat in these recordings. If that's the case, just say nothing. I mean, I did have a slight cold at the time I recorded these. That's probably why I sound odd. Anyway, I, 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 okay, I'm done anyway. So, turn off. Turn off. Oh, it's actually just a button. Sorry, here we go. Hold on, I'll just set this here. Do you guys record everything we talk about? Not everything. But you've been using the Animus so much, I thought this was a good chance to learn some things about prolonged exposure. So I'm your guinea pig? No, no, my guinea pigs are all dead. The Animus was too much for them to handle. Cute. Can I ask you about the bleeding effect? Any recent flashes? Any memories resurfacing? Yeah, the usual things. Ghost images of Altair and Ezio a few times a day. <laughs> Nothing intrusive, just brief moments. They pass quickly, almost without me noticing. Like a figure in the corner of my eye. Or remembering a dream from the night before. I did have one extended hallucination a few days ago. It was Ezio. He was older, around the time he left Cappadocia. He was standing on the deck of a ship, alone. And through him, I could feel an intense regret or guilt and it felt to me like he'd had a, a loss of faith in himself in the creed like he couldn't keep it up couldn't stay true to his ideals and as i watched him i thought is this the moment he decided he was done being an assassin it felt like it anyway most of my visions have been brief lasting just a few seconds they're like complete memories of small moments that appear suddenly out of nowhere, fully formed. It's a strange feeling. Okay, anything else? I'm starting to see Connor now, too. Though I hear his voice more often than I see him. I'm sure that will change. Oh, yeah, and yesterday, just before bed, I had a memory of being on a beach in the Caribbean with a bunch of sailors. Or maybe they were pirates. I don't know, no idea. Huh, we'll look into that. And how do you feel in general? In general? Well, I feel like older, pirates. for one. Much older. And it's strangely comforting. I'm collecting the memories and skills and thoughts of so many people. I feel like I've lived a few hundred years or more. Is it possible that if I do this for too long, it'll push my own memories aside? That I'll be everyone but myself after a while? It's possible. That's called identity substitution. It's happened before, but it's rare. And someone with your background shouldn't need to worry. My background? You mean someone with my genes? My... abilities? You have Isu DNA. And that lets you see things and do things and... withstand traumas that other people can't. And I can suffer in ways that others can't. That's not something to be proud of. You mean the apple? Yeah. It has a pole, Bex. It tugs at my brain, it talks to me, teases me, drives me mad. And what I did to Lucy, god damn it, nothing is worth the damage I did, the pain I caused. I know, but you're special, that's the point. I'm not special, Bex. I'm lucky, that's all. I understand. We're assassins. It's our creed that makes us different, not our genes, not our blood. Anyone can join us. That's true. But let's leave that aside for a second. What I want to know is, 
Have you ever had any Isu memories resurface? Isu memories? I don't... don't think so. I can't even begin to imagine what that would feel like. I think you'd know if you did. Maybe one day. We might be able to induce something. Jesus, let's fix the world first, okay? Before we start digging up my ancient ancestors. Deal. With my luck, I'll be related to some third-rate Isu like... Like Sisyphus or something. <laughs> Way to aim high, buddy. <laughs> hey, you gotta. John, don't forget to water the plants while I'm under, okay? I'll add it to the calendar and tattoo it on my leg. Be nice to sleep in a real bed when this is over. Let's go. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Okay. Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go and... No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the Earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Here we have. Find the mad one. We died here. Nice. Find me. We're gonna find out. Here. And save us all. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Is that meant to be like Essex? Wessex. Soon enough. I'm glad to see any land at all. And will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory. The Kingdom of Mercia. Largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randy! 
Taking your oars. All standing. Have you spotted something? Not yet. But let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Sail on. Yes. I'm ready for whatever these green-thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, do the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming? They do not, for they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No, no. We will speak with them, get the lay of the land, and carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there! Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre! We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them, like our sacrifices to Odin, the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him! That is the difference! Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off! There, four. Ritual drowning. Baptism, Dad. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all. I simply forgot. Someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always! They shape precious metals and cut jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. Come to stop the boats. Pull up over there. The way forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dad. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. should not be seen in this area.
away. Hey, boy, back to the boat. We should be close now, barring any more surprises. <laughs> I say we go back, Sigurd. Give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they Thank have. You. Easy pickings. Not today, Dag. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and ale on hand when we arrive. You should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Ivar Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> Have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig tender and juicy. And the ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dag? I, I fear for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to be remade. We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. The ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead. Where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, to find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find. No. Let us get a closer look. Those are not Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, as they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a yard. And if they are foes, then we fight them all together. These men. They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Avon! Yeah. On me! I reckon the uh, latest update is what's making it be like this. Cool. So. <laughs> What's this? A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways? You there. Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten those men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakrout, and draw your weapon. Oh! Let's finish them! You have what you wish for, Dad. Feels like Come on, you're getting cold. 